It starts. That's why we're here today. It's kind of weird. The starter will spin, but it won't kick out. But it won't hit with the key. But the starter relay is clicking. So I don't think it's the ignition switch. But though the ignition is warm. I don't think that's the problem. Maybe. <laughs> Two. I to keep my hands out of the way. <laughs> no, you're good. I'll job work around you. As long as I don't get sticker burrs in me, like I just did. That I have no guarantees for. He got in my uh, calf. <laughs> Tell you what, they don't put that starter in the best position. I know it needs to be next to the transmission, but, you know. Come on. Get on there. You can do it. Oh, can I do it? Oops. Righty tidy left here to see. Lying to me before? Spin a roo. Spin a roo. Can I not drop this one? I, mean, I see the mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. I'm probably Always getting bitten, I'm just not realizing it. You're focusing on other things. Yeah. Ow. They're everywhere. So I brought some deep. I uh, normally have off it somewhere in my golf bag, but I seem to have misplaced it. And so I can't find any off, even at my house, where mosquitoes are uh, plentiful. Yeah. All right. So how do you get that out at this point? No, it just unbolts from underneath. And then you get it from under there? Yeah. Oh. Underneath the car. 
Dang, these bastards are fast. <laughs> and not get stuff in my face. OSHA. OSHA, safety third. Yep. Yeah. One oily bolt. That's probably why the starter's bad. Two oily bolts. Oh, they eat away the wheels. Oh, that makes sense. I think I got that on camera. Awesome. <laughs> At two different angles. <laughs> All right. This thing's just not wanting to get past this. It did say in the procedures that it wants you to remove this freaking axle mount. Dumb. <laughs> I might actually have to. Looks like it's got stuck there. That's not going to come out. No, you see compressors in the way. Air, bolt, bolt, bolt's too long. <laughs> Thank you, GM. Oh, God. How the hell am I supposed to do this? You're supposed to drop the engine, I think. Yeah, right? Well, I at least got that part out. Can I get <laughs> the starter out? Yeah, I can. Boom! Yeah, that's a little uh, oily. Yeah. This thing's got oil leaks everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I think that's why it's uh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> but as long as it fits, if the bolt holes line up, then we're good. Sometimes the newer motors are smaller, more compact. Maybe even made better in some cases. Should be. Because this is a remanufactured unit, so you know things get changed around. Yep. Alright, now I gotta cram this thing back into that little space. Alright, so let me just do this the opposite of how I took it out. Since this motor is a little smaller. And actually. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take this cover again, and I'm going to clean this off. This thing is nasty. Well, it holds the starter? It's just a, it's a spacer. And so when the starter is sitting in position, it won't kick the gear out too far. Because it sits up against here. And then, so whenever it retracts, it still doesn't catch. Yeah, so it's it's bolted up to the engine like that, and mm -hmm. this goes on it like that. 
mm. and it kind of is a it's a spacer between the edge of the transmission and this so it only spits the gear out to the right spot to grab the flywheel got it this one is dirty covered in oil it's like this whole engine has some oil leaks or something right. <laughs> a chevy with 250,000 miles that has oil leaks no Like M539 restorations would say. A Chevy without oil leaks is like a beer without foam. Except he says BMW, not Chevy, but it's the same. <laughs> that's how you know there's oil in it. <laughs> when it stops leaking, that's when the it stops leaking, you have the problem. <laughs> or you just spent like four grand and got everything resealed. <laughs> That's why you get the O'Reilly's brand, full synthetic, high mileage oil, the five quart jug, get it for about 25 bucks, keep that in the back of your truck. Check your oil all the time, just keep it filled up and it'll be fine. It'll keep running. <laughs> it's all wet, that's how you know it's an active leak. <laughs> I'm sure there's enough people watching that work on cars that'll get it. I never say my YouTube channel is appropriate for kids. You know? In case I ever do swear. I don't mark it as uh, made for kids, so that works out perfect. Yeah. Although if you mark it as for kids, it will literally go on YouTube Kids. Yeah, I know. It's so. like, I don't think YouTube Kids are going to be watching how to replace a starter on their, I mean, on their 03 Tahoe. <laughs> maybe 03 uh, Little Tykes. Tahoe. <laughs> I don't think that has a starter. <laughs> Pretty sure that's, that's driven Flintstone style. <laughs> What's the electric ones? The Jeeps the and power stuff? Power wheels? Yeah, power wheels. I always wanted one of those as a kid. Never got one. No. I had skateboards and scooters. I did get a golf cart when I was a teenager, though, so I can't. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I had a mongoose that got stolen. Oh, that's With the pegs. I sold my go kart to a cop later, years later. <laughs> It's funny, he paid me cash and we're like behind a building and I was just like, are we doing a drug deal? <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of looked at me funny. Okay. Get you in the hole. Get in your hole. Oh no, you can actually see it on camera now that it's shiny. It doesn't match the rest of the surrounding. <laughs> One bolt. Two or three ugly duggas, and we should be good. Under the car, and then above, above the car, and then under the car. Over the hood, under the car, over the hood, under the car. Mechanic burpees. There's one wire. Where'd the other wire go? A little other wire. Where are you hiding, other wire? It's the big wire. It's only to start up. <laughs> I loosely set the wires on each post. It'll do. It's installed. It'll hold. Yeah. yeah it is a lot easier to see what you're doing now. It's, it's That's clean. clean. Now, what's really fun is getting these little lock washers and nuts all on there without dropping the three on. Oh, the lock washers going to be fun. Yeah. Cram your hand in there. Set the lock washer on all nice and gingerly. You get the nut. Ow. <laughs> Cram your hand in there. Put that start on in the stud and spin it up. Just that easy. As easy as one, two, three. Something like that. One, two, four, eight, 
Batman symbol three. <laughs> now the same thing with the 13. Lock washer. Are you sure it's not 12? My face. <laughs> you sure it's not 12? You know, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a 13, tightened up. Now the eight. Where I put the eight? That was a big mosquito. Where I put the eight? Right there. Where? The... Ah, under my hand. <laughs> There it goes. Beautiful. 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 Don't forget the nut on the this mount right or this bolt right here on the oh, yeah. frame. Nah. That. That. It'd suck if you got the wheel on and realized that you had an extra nut. Realize what it is too. I'm not supposed to have nut extra nuts. Although we built it better than the engineers did, so. Yeah, all right. That's what, having hey, that's what happens when you have bolts left over. It just yeah. means you're more efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Though I try to not have any bolts over unless I replace them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those are usually the only bolts I have left over. Most of the time. Now I'm deaf. All right, let's hook up the battery and see if this thing will start. Bam. All right, sparky, sparky. It starts. That's why we're here today. Yeah. I found on these trucks. Yeah. My truck included. If you need to do anything on the side of the engine, just take the wheels off, go through the fender liner. You'll save yourself a lot of anguish. Yeah. <laughs>